Hi, today's devotion is on the topic of vengeance and what the Bible says about vengeance and how that applies to Christians. It's a very important topic because every one of us gets hurt from time to time, sometimes by people we don't expect to get hurt from. And um, our first instinct very often is to respond in such a way that we can hurt that person back because they've hurt us. I think that's part of our sin nature, to want to strike back. Uh, and yet the Bible is very clear that this is not the appropriate attitude, especially for somebody who's following Jesus Christ. So let me just throw a few verses at you to um, sustain that point. First one I want to look at is Proverbs 20, verse 22, that says, Do not say, I will repay evil. Wait for the Lord, and he will deliver you. So do not try to go out and repay evil with evil. Wait for the Lord to do his job. And in line with that, Paul speaks to this issue in Romans 12, uh, starting at verse 19. Beloved, never avenge yourselves, but leave it to the wrath of God. For it is written, vengeance is mine, I will repay, says the Lord. So that falls in line with what we just read in Proverbs. Don't take vengeance, allow the Lord to mete out justice, as it were. As it were, Paul quotes from Deuteronomy 32, which is sort of the core verse on this whole topic. Let me just turn to verse 32 here of Deuteronomy. And this is part of Moses' final speech um, before the Israelites are going to cross over the Jordan and take the Promised Land. In uh, Deuteronomy 32, verse 35, uh, Moses writes that God says, Vengeance is mine and recompense which can be translated um, repaying. The idea of vengeance is mine and I will repay. This is fascinating because God wants to be the one who meets out justice. And oftentimes when we want to take vengeance on somebody, it's because we felt wronged, as I mentioned earlier. And what we're trying to do is circumvent sort of a third party. We're trying to take out justice ourselves. We think we know what the right thing to do is, especially when we've been hurt. We want to repay somebody with the same degree of hurt with which they hurt us. But it's very clear in the Bible that that vengeance belongs to God. And I think the reason for that is because only God is just enough to know how to mete out justice in an equitable manner. We as sinners do not know how to mete out justice in an equitable manner. We would probably do too much, or maybe we would do too little in response. That's why we have court systems, for example, in the United States. We allow a third party to come in and make a declaration of what the right action, what the, the right repayment should be. Even in the Bible, when Jesus talks about getting harmed by somebody, what does he say in Matthew 18, verses 15 and 16 and 17 and 18, he says, when you've been wronged by somebody, approach your brother or your sister directly. And if you win the day, great. But if you don't, go get another brother or another sister to come and confront the person. Bring that third party in. So vengeance is not ours to be had because we're sinners. We're not just enough to know how to repay correctly. But God, who is completely just, knows how to do that. So resist taking vengeance and like the proverb says, wait for the Lord to do his job. He is the one who knows how to repay. Thank you and God bless you.